Hello guys, welcome to Traders Therapy Session. I'm your host, KRO. Uh, guys, welcome to weekly breakdown video. Uh, we are going to share with you how I personally, let me not say we, I personally saw the market for this week to perform and I did not take a trade this week even though this week was a good week and we anticipated price to go to certain levels and price went to the levels as anticipated but because i was caught up i could not participate on the market but without wasting any time let me just get into the video but uh, just one moment uh, just to share the reason why i did not is because i was caught up and if I forced myself to take a trade, to create time for me to trade, I believe that I was going to make a lot of mistakes. And plus, this was also a study for me to study my emotions. I annotated, I analyzed the market, I had the bias, but I did not take trades. So this is also a study to myself to check if I can control my emotion, my emotions. So without wasting any time, guys, uh, this is how the videos will go like. I will share with you what I've uh, annotated before, then I will share with you results. I'm not going to go to the charts. Why? Because I want to save time and I want to put your concentration uh, I want you to focus on specific things and just those things, nothing more, nothing less. So let us um, exercise our subconscious mind by seeing price time and again. Without wasting any time, guys, let me just get into the videos. So a little bit of a disclaimer here. We are not the financial advisors we just sharing this for educational purposes um, get the disclaimer right here on the screen and let's move forward on a monthly time frame guys uh, look at here this was taken on the 25th of which it was monday early in the uh, in the morning uh, let's see what we we were looking at here monthly buyers uh, sell side liquidity is the is the target let's see if we respect the current busy or we test the lower busy we have a busy right here of which i did not annotate just for sake of keeping the charts clean we have a busy right here let's see if we respect this busy or we come and taste test this lower busy right here that was our focus Put your focus on this uh, line right here, this level right here, going forward. Let's go to the weekly. And when we go to the weekly, now, to those who do, know, who do not know the time frame correlation, now it's time to exercise. Please, each and every week here has like, uh, each and every month, I mean to say, has like four weeks. This candle, as we go to the weekly, there will be four candles, four candles, four candles. Just because of it, it was not the end of the month here. We have three candles. So you have like three, four, 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 12 plus three. You have 15 candles, around 15 candles right here when you go to the weekly. And see how the market is performing towards this level or is going above that. Going to the weekly, those candles right here. On a weekly, what is our bias? I still prefer sell side because we have a weekly sell side. Remember, I said keep your eye on this. We still have that right there. We have a weekly sell side of which we did not pierce. We just missed. So this week was a great chance for market to come down and test that level, take that stops. But my focus, I am watching closely at a weekly sell side liquidity. This then after this has occurred then i'll be watching the monthly 
plus look what we have here i was watching at this candle i'm watching closely how price reacts here you see this week right here i will treat this as my consequent encouragement that was my focus for the week uh, i've got four points i have four points of sensitive which are sensitive areas this where the candle close which is the first part i have the quarter level of it which is the 25 percent then i have the 50 percent 75 percent then i have the low of that area that that week right there i'm watching how price is going to react when it gets here but the first objective is this one first objective this one this one then we come to this then after what do we know about price sweeping liquidity after liquidity has been swept is the reason why it's been swept is the reason why i said i'm watching this then i will come to that because this can react the this this week right here it can react as a consequent encouragement after the stops has been taken out just to go above so this is the first one then we're going to talk about this one and as price comes here we'll be watching it very closely so let's go to daily so to daily we are going to multiply this by five because we have five days per candle here five candles on a daily will represent one candle here so we're going to multiply it by five so we're going to it's going to expand but same price delivery but this is going to expand let's go to daily from that weekly on a daily what are we looking at uh, sorry for omission here it can be great if price violates the current fair value gap this candle's low this candle's high we have a fair value gap price went high it came back and tested you know about the fair value gap this was taken out so for me this price has performed if i see this thing this price has performed i mean this fair value gap so it went high and this high this fair value gap is responsible for that high right here so for me the price delivery once price does this do this i'm okay i make peace whenever the price comes back is the reason why i call my fair value gap the second hand after it has performed what makes it a second end after this high was taken out so i don't hold my bias to go further up to go down i just treat this and i give myself a room for invasion favor look up to okay for me this doesn't hold a strong sometimes it, it does work to go above but for me it doesn't hold a strong bias like this one right here the first touch so it went high for liquidity it came down don't worry we are not going to talk about anything here we are just focusing on price remember our target is here let's put our focus here then it gave the third touch on a daily it went back high then it gave the fourth touch then i said it can be great if price violates the current fair value gap it was the 25th of september then I, I i was watching this busy right here and if price was going to to go high to test here but this was my favorite plus monthly sell side remember i said focus here when we get to the daily when we go to the daily we even found this being what previous 20 days low so this is very 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 magnetic area right here price will likely to draw into this area right here this was our focus and remember going down here we have that candle right there of the week we so with that being said guys this was our child this was our annotations i mean to say looking at this area let's see if this week really performed the way that we expected it we expected it to perform so let's go to the result per time frame this is how i'm this is how we are going to to annotate this i'm going to show you the monthly 
then we see the monthly how far the monthly performed according to the way that we analyzed it before so let's go to the monthly chart monthly chart we talked about it expecting the sell side let's see the monthly after a week monthly took out the sell side please follow the monthly we expected the sell side to be taken out the result after a week the sell side were taken out and look at when i took the screenshot here the 30th which is today an hour ago while i was preparing for this video then we're going to go to a weekly what were we looking at still prefer the sell sites because of that and we will be watching or we'll be watching how the weekly will perform then we go to the monthly and that let's see the weekly sell site was not taken and this one as well let's see the results now what happens to the weekly the sell site was taken even the one that we were looking for was also taken coming here if you take your FIP level if you take your Fibonacci tool you take the low here and the high here you will see let me just do that for you okay welcome to the chat guys just for a second if you take your FIP level should I take it from this one yes you take it from this level to the body close you are measuring only the week here this is the week I was annotating say I will I'm watching I'm watching closely how price react here then four levels you divide this into four zero twenty five fifty seventy five hundred percent so we reacted off of for this week we reacted off of what we reacted off of 25 percent here very 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 promising stuff right here guys so without wasting any time let's go back to our presentation okay welcome back guys so off of the week the market performed here the market used the 25 percent it's an excuse for market to pull back after taking out the liquidity right here so this is what i was looking for for this week this this performed i'm satisfied with how price did because this is what i was looking forward to see from price delivery so let's go to daily remember the date 25 september uh, it can be great if price violates the current fair value gap because like i said guys and i have mentioned this in a lot of my videos uh, i know i don't have much videos on a youtube space but i have mentioned this more than twice saying the first second hand i don't when when it comes to a second hand fair value gap like i expect everything to happen a reaper fair value gap and or invasion fair value gap or to give us the second test the third or the fourth test day so i expect anything to happen i just watch market closely when we get to those uh, when we touch the favor look up for the second time or for a third time especially guys especially when it has performed you see here this high after the touch when this comes here you see it didn't take this high right here if i had a test again here for me this is not the second and this is still fresh because the high was never taken out so it can be great if we violate this let's see on a daily how we performed and i guess this will be our last slide guys remember let's go back a little bit we had only this candle right here it was on monday we were targeting what we were targeting the sell side on a, for a weekly sell side for a monthly and see how they this performs and also don't forget that weekly week right there on a daily for them on monday the first objectives was taken out that candle right there then on tuesday we took out there 20 days low right there then we found what right here we found the 25 percent and i did not measure this let's see if we can see 
the mean threshold of this other block right here. Let me see you on the chart for a second. Guys, welcome back to the charts. Let's see and clarify that. Do not worry, guys. Um, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to make the algo run because this is just a weekly breakdown. But I, I, I want to do each and every day's trade. How did this day trade it? Uh, why it did that? And so forth. I'm just reading the algorithm. I'm not doing the back. It's back testing though. And it will help you out there uh, to clarify things. For those of you who did not maybe understood why did the market did what it did on a certain day. And then we'll see it's us going against the, it's us reading the algorithm. Not, it doesn't mean that we took each and every trade on the trade that we're going to be illustrate here. It's just us having to read the algorithm and it will help you understand even better, better. And it will give you an experience next time when you do it yourself. So let's go to the daily. And try to figure out that remember on a weekly let me do this let's go back to weekly let's take it from where it belongs let's take this 25 percent right here and take it to the daily that 25 percent Guys, watch this. This is magic, guys. I haven't seen it and I haven't done what I'm going to do, but I'm suspecting that this is a mean threshold of this. And plus, it will be occupied. I'll have some... I don't know how to call this, but what to call this. But I'll, sh I'll show you some zone or some level right here that can add as a confluence. And as we go to lower time frame, is the reason why I said I also want to show the algorithmic run it will make a lot of sense so the interest is on this not let me start with this this candle right here i want the mean threshold of this candle right here look at the that's it right there this is the mean threshold of what the mean threshold of that the week the 25 percent of the week is what look at this guys i hope i'm not losing you guys this 25 percent is the 25 percent of the week but it's what it's 50 percent of what it's 50 percent it's a mean threshold of the daily other block so this zone on its own Remember, guys, we're not saying we participated or we could have participated. Uh, when, If we were in the market, we, maybe we could have seen it this way. But in most cases, guys, don't even beat yourself up. You will see things after they have happened. So let's keep this zone to us. You see, this was the reason for this entry right here. Why did we have this buy right here? let me make it visible as well as on the weekly time frame yes okay why did we have this buy right here mean threshold 25 percent of the weekly consequent encouragement this is what we have right here then there is in this could the, guys like it couldn't be that more than this perfect it cannot be guys um maybe just for interest sake let's look at this day particularly let's look at this day of which is from tuesday it's wednesday then from there we're going to take it to h4 we are focusing on that day remember all of this guys all of this was a draw to this area right here this was our main area right here then on wednesday and it was an afternoon okay let's go back here wednesday am session i guess it was a nice sell-off let's go to see one hour and try to see price 
we took out the sell side of which it was Tuesday's low. This was on Wednesday. I was watching the market though, and and I this is the reason why you see these annotations right here. I was also watching the market. Then we came here. We failed, guys. We failed to take this. Right? We failed. To, we failed to take. What am I saying? Uh, we failed to not to take this. I'm I'm just losing I'm just losing my mind right now, guys. Sorry. Uh, we failed to test this area that was annotated here, which was on lower time frame, I guess. Then we went down. Afternoon session is the one that killed it. So let's see what we have right here. This was a, this was a draw on liquidity for me on that day. I was just trying to remember what what, what is it that I was specifically watching. Then the AM session draw on liquidity and it the price was not that lean until this happened guys the price was not that lean until this happened because you can see the price right here what was happening even though we took the liquidity right here you wouldn't just i the price was not clean for me My, i was waiting for price to be drawn into this area but i had a low right here then once it was taken i was happy then this one it also happened after it was Thursday Thursday's price yes it also happened after I have made this after I have drawn this right here on Wednesday after this anticipating that the price will come I was just watching the market afternoon afternoon after work then annotate whatever is it that I'm seeing happening I see will happen then that was it then I left the price and then this is what I found right here and yesterday I guess yesterday I wanted to see how the market moved from here is the reason why you are seeing this right here and i haven't revisited i haven't visited this area right here so this is what we have guys i will share the videos where we'll share the lower time frame like this the entries how did the market enter and then i'll share with you the characteristics of putting the stop loss i will share with you how to take the tp i will share with you the time but I'm not encouraging anyone to take the trade. I'm not encouraging anyone to participate on this kind of a market. I will ju I'm just sharing with you how the algorithm is working. And I feel like uh, to share the light to those of you who might be struggling trying to understand ICT. And I still emphasize on this video, I'm not teaching better than ICT. I'm just helping and we are all learning from him. I just happen to understand him better. He just happened to be my refugee so guys i hope you enjoyed this video see you on the next one